This is the DYUS2. It's a tiny little bike, but very capable. This will fly along and transport this 180, 190 pound, six foot tall guy at 15 and a half miles an hour. And I checked it and it did do exactly that. And that's just mind blowing because you could fit this guy anywhere. I've got this in the back of my Jeep. So here's the box it comes in. It's mostly assembled. And I'd say it's a good 99% assembled. I think the only thing I had to do is put the rear fender on and the seat. So piece of cake to install. You don't have to have any knowledge about bicycles or mechanics or you don't even need tools because all the tools you're going to need come with this bike in the package. So here, here's everything in the box. It's uh, not too heavy. Average guy. A lot of girls will be able to pick this guy up. It's got a little bit of weight because of the batteries. Just be aware of that. Normally, I tip the box on the side and slide it out this way. So you just got to gingerly, carefully cut all the styrofoam protection off the side, all with little uh, plastic ties. Pretty easy to do. And there's some tape on there to protect the door and shipping so she doesn't get scratched up. And it came in really, it's, it's pristine, protect, in pristine condition, really. No problems whatsoever with the shipping and the product itself. I didn't see any scratches or any weirdness, no bent stuff. So that is great. Some of the bigger ones, occasionally you have some bent stuff, but this one came in perfect. So cut all the uh, protective stuff off of it. It'll take you a few minutes to do that. And again, do it carefully because you don't want to scratch the paint. And just a pair of scissors will be able to take everything off for you. And in your little box here, you're going to find your a rear fender. Pretty simple to attach, as we'll show you in a minute. And you're also going to have your pedals, which are marked left and right. Sometimes they don't mark those. So thank you, DYU, for doing that. And here's your charger. It looks like a little laptop charger. Very small guy. It's a smaller battery in this bike. That's really all you need to charge this battery in a couple of hours. And here's the instruction book with the assembly and all the tools you're going to need. So you just, here's the uh, little port to plug it in. And I don't believe you can remove the battery unless you take it all apart. You could probably do that, but this is meant to be charged while on the unit itself, which is no problem. The light will turn red when it's charging and it'll turn green when it's ready to go. It takes a couple of hours, so get that started if you have the opportunity. So the uh, front handlebar and the fork is already installed and it's a quick release, so that's pretty cool. So you can fold that down to get that into the back of a small car or even like a... I bet this thing would fit into a large suitcase. Kickstand's already installed. Look how small this is. It's really all you need for this guy. You will need to maybe pump up the tires. Oh, this was nice too. They give you a spring-loaded seat for a much softer ride. That was cool too. And again, there are air-filled tires. So make sure they're inflated. Sometimes they lose a little bit of air when they're... During shipping, there's some temperature changes when they are on freight and heading from one side of the world to another. And it goes up surprisingly high. So again, I'm just about six feet tall and I can ride this thing fairly comfortably. To be honest, you're not gonna have much luck pedaling unless you're just from a dead start because there's only one gear. But this is basically, I think it's meant to be kind of like a rideable scooter. And again, no matter how tall you are, even if you're six foot or if you're like five two, you're going to be able to fit on this bike because it's adjustable. So you will need to pop the pedals on and they do give you the wrench to make them real tight. I did use a separate wrench. I used a real wrench to really, I like to make sure my pedals are on there securely because sometimes I'll stand up and uh, just, especially when I'm on the beach and riding some scenic areas, just to get a little bit better view, get you a little bit higher. So tighten it up with this guy it should get it as tight as you need it but if you want it really tight the uh, recommended torque go ahead and use a real wrench and that will straighten it out for you make sure that they're in nice and secure and they are foldable too so when you throw that in the back of your car or your suv you can fold them down which is very nice nice option for you and to put the rear fender on uh just one one bolt that's really all it does it screws in there it's plastic and they do give you the Allen wrench for it. Just tighten it up. Make sure that's in there. And you can adjust the front handlebar position too. So you make sure those brakes are comfortable. So when you're riding it, uh, they will be in the right position. Yeah. So you can use them to stop. And that's it. Your bike is ready to go. 
It's so cute, but it's so capable. So it comes with a power button. Just press the power button on. No keys necessary. It shows you the battery level. Your throttle's on the right side. It's a half twist throttle. And it also has a pretty bright headlight. Check out the illumination by this headlight. This really shocked me. It's a really nice headlight. And there's a horn in case you want somebody to get out of your way. So I took it for a ride down the street. And you know what? It actually fit. I, I was worried that this wouldn't be able to support my height and weight, but it actually did great. Again, we tested it up to about 15 and a half miles an hour, which is plenty fast in a lot of city situations where you really can't open it up to 20, 28 miles an hour. So this will get you around and for a commuter. You take it on the bus or on the train or I'll pop it in the back of your car. And if you just want to ride your bike somewhere, now you have the capability to do that. So small, so light. And again, 15 and a half miles an hour for probably a good 40 or so miles before the battery wears out. And when it wears out, just charge it up again and you can pedal it if you need to. But this is, a, this is an interesting product. I find myself really liking this. And now it's permanently in the back of my Jeep. I think it's going to live there. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I was really surprised at the quality of this DYUS2 electric bicycle.